Hey guys, and welcome back for some more StarCraft 2, where we are playing through the Wings of Liberty campaign. Now, uh, last time we were playing through a mission called uh, Safe Haven, I believe it was, and we were racing the Protoss to try and evacuate uh, Dr. Hansen's new base. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight back in and um, basically just see uh, see where that picks off. Now, I think we're leaving Hansen so she can try and find a, a cure for the uh, for the survivors of the attack. Um, so, uh, so I don't know if we're going to see her again. Uh, we might do, we might not, but... Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, let's go find out now. So I guess this is goodbye, Doc. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know, you could always stay here. Settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. I ain't that good. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Always something interesting. Ooh. New mercenaries held. Uh, the Vikings, yeah, they're all right, all right. Again, probably not worth spending money on the mercenaries. Let's see what's on the news. Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN headquarters on Korhal. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, there, is the feed open? Huh. Hi. Uh, That's yes. professional. Hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. Branding themselves as rebels. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who are scared about the current crisis, and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim You Ray heard it here first. Mm, that's Ungrateful rebels digging in their heels across the fringe world. <laughs> For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. Okay. Am I the only one that just wants to shoot this guy? Can he warn me when he's gonna do that? <laughs> you know, people take it personal when you abandon them to the Zerg. Okay, so Tychus, hello. Damn shame Doc Hanson stayed behind. She was just about to fall for my roguish charms hey, too. Quite you. You ain't gonna tell me you were just a little bit tempted to stay with her, are you? I've been down that road before, Tychus. I took my shot at a normal life a long time ago. Ain't no going back now. <laughs> Couple of badasses like us ain't cut out for the quiet life anyway. Yes, sir. Destiny's got us pegged for something way bigger. Right, so, uh, colonizer, this is new. So the flag uh, of the former colony of uh, Agria to the... In recognition. So yeah, so so I think this is the um, the flag from um, Agria, which is where uh, Hansen settled. So yeah. So that's cool. So mercenary... Uh, yeah, I can't let's, go, let's go to the lab and let's see what happens. I don't think we've got any more um, uh, research points. However, we could go and click on this again. Let's go into the armory. We'll spend some money. Go and talk Swan. Man, did you see the size of that Protoss ship? Don't matter how often I see them, those guys always come out with something that makes your jaw drop. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'd be more impressed if they were using all that power against the Zerg. It's stupid to be killing Protoss when we should be teaming up with them against Kerrigan. Agreed. Listen, they deserved it, and you did the right thing. Friends don't let friends massacre civilians, Jim. <laughs> I'm proud of you for standing up to them. Oh, look at the size of that Viking. That's amazing.
That's cool. So yeah, so uh, it does give you a little bit more, a uh, bit more information there. It's um. Oh, that's cool. Viking servers are interchangeable. So scavenger Viking arm to repair a more important leg. So um, that's actually kind of cool. I haven't seen them up close before. I want one. Anyway, let's see how much money we got. 190. So, ooh, starships. Viking. Okay, so what can we do? Viking missiles do area damage. That could be quite handy against swarms of air units. Wow, very handy, yeah. Then we've got Viking Zane, plus two missile range, and plus one cannon range. That is an enormous increase in range. Look how much range that is. That's incredible. Okay, I might get that in a little bit, actually. That could be really useful. Uh, anyway, vehicles. So, back to siege tanks. So, uh, base as well. Oh, yeah, I was going to get this, wasn't I? Um, so, repair themselves to 50% life. Or... Um, Oh, uh, scanner sweep and uh, mule. Um, that can actually be quite useful, actually. Mules are uh, mules are pretty good. Um, what else was I looking at? Oh yeah, forty damage to primary target. I don't think I can afford the scanner sweep and this, so that'll leave me with eighty-five. And that's hundred. Yeah, so so no 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 way. Um, to be honest, I think having this would be quite useful. Um, first off, I got the scanner sweep, so I kind of know where stuff is. Second off, mules is basically free resource. So... Plus I can see detected and borrowed units, which of course is, is nice. Um, let's go for that. And I think, so next on my list is, this could be handy, but I think if I'm being attacked, then I'm going to get SCVs anyway. Um, and then it's this one. So this this one's next then. I'm going to save up for that next. And then the range. Cool. So, what I think I'm going to do then is go back to the lab and try another one of these. Because I'm guessing there's going to be a couple. Yeah, there we go. I gathered allies. We made our way to the forbidden archive world of Zaku. There, a triumvirate of mystic preservers awaited us. And in the shadows, something else was watching and waiting. Alright. To be honest, I think I might do like all these in a row, because you get so many research like research for Protoss and for Zerk. So um so yeah, so a sinister turn. Let's have a look. All right, Zeratul, old buddy, you've got your mysterious prophecy. Now let's see what your preservers made of it. My quest to decipher the prophecy took me to the forbidden archive world of Zakul. Here, three immortal preservers guarded ancient knowledge. Only they could transcribe the prophetic fragments. I needed to seek them out quickly. All right. Sounds good. So, yeah. So, um, well, it's, it's telling us about Protoss. So, probes are the workhorses of a Protoss base. They gather resources and warp in, or basically build Protoss structures. So, um... So yeah, so probes are basically the Protoss version of SCVs. Um, they gather resources and of course they build Protoss structures. Um, but Protoss, they don't actually build them. They basically summon from... I, I'm pretty sure they just summon from their homeworld or something across the void, across the, the warp, um, the structure. Um, which uh, is actually pretty cool if you think about it. Um, anyway, you're about to find out. Is strangely silent here, yet these structures are intact. With power, they would be functional. So there's the probes, and that's the structure walking in, walking in the. That's cool.
All right then. So, what we'll do is uh, we'll. Oh. oh, they're telling me to build pylons. So B and then E. Go. Cool. Stick one there and one there. I'll do what they say, even though I. There might be better places to put it. But uh, yeah. See, because um, they warp in, you just need to tell the probe to build it, and then the probe can go straight back to mining, which is actually quite handy. The only annoying thing is that's um, all the upgrades that I've gotten so far, like the tank upgrades and the building upgrades, none of them are actually going to ma make any difference right now, simply because, um, well, you know, this, this is it. The mighty I, spirits I... of the preservers are imprisoned close by. We must find them. What I was trying to say is, um, is because I'm playing a different species. There we go. <laughs> Took me a while, but I got there in the end. So yeah, so we got Stalker and Zealot. Zealots are basically um, powerful melee warriors, as of course it says. Um, they can take a lot of hits, but of course, if they have a lot of ranged units, then they might die before they even get there and do any damage. And um, this is a forge, so I'll upgrade some ground weapons. But I'm going to build a refinery. Uh, B and then. Uh, a, oh, it's a, an assimilator for a Protoss. So, why don't we send one out and just there do a bit of... There are many abandoned um, structures in this place that we can make use of. They merely need their power restored oh. by the construction of a few well-placed pylons. Hello. Who is... The preservers you seek serve a higher power now, Dark One. Hey. That's it shooting me. Okay. Higher power. What could have corrupted these Protoss so? Truly, something foul has taken hold of this sacred place. A robotics facility. This structure may prove useful to us. Okay. State thy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some... Oh. Huh. That's really cool. See, I wonder if that's just sci-fi or if it could actually be possible in the future. A Protoss and Zerg hybrid. Huh. Gods, an abomination. Who created this atrocity? Do you have to ask? Come, my slaves. The time has come to give me your strength. Uh-oh. I can't be good. Okay, well I'm thinking I'm gonna need some more defenses. Um, and uh, more units. Do oh, I need more gas? Well, what I'll do then is if I build another gateway, because um, I've got plenty of minerals, but not a huge amount of gas. And here we go. And here's your robotics facility. Cool. Thanks, mighty one. So I can build immortals. Wow, they're expensive. Well, it kind of stands to reason then that if I um, send something up here and uh, state thy bidding, we is Okay, there's something moving across the map down there. It's a hybrid, 700 and 700 health. That is quite a decent amount of health. Um. Okay, might be worth building another cannon maybe. Let's build it like there, so it's kind of next to it. Oh, it's got like a wall. That's kind of cool. But since it's trying to kill me, it's not cool. It's distinctly uncool. <laughs> okay, so is that? It's biological and massive. Alright, okay. Because these do... Give me your 
So, I'm, I'm only guessing the here. The hybrid but... is draining the preservers to survive. I must free them before it is too late. Okay, so I can't My see a time limit Once or anything. power is restored, it could be of great value to us. Ah! Okay, they're attacking me from there. He's attacking again? Jeez, give me a give me a break here. I'm trying to build up an army to destroy you. Join me, brothers, and we shall cleanse this place of evil. Command us. Ah, okay, it's going this way, this side. That's kind of annoying. Uh, oh, I'm going to this time. Wonderful. Now, I don't know, does it have detection? Ah, it does, okay. Let's get back and in touch with the army. If I remember correctly, the Dark Temple is doing a decent amount of damage. 50 damage, yeah, that's nice. Very nice, actually, yeah. What? Good thing I built cannons, eh? Okay, so. Let's build some armor, build some more probes. Because I've still only got 15 of 24. Okay. I think what I need to do is build a standing army to kind of help defend. And then um, go off and um, let's leave the DTs. And then I'll send all of these off to, um, to uh, fight bad guys. Because if they're attacking, they're less likely to have detection. And the Dark Temple has a Now, since the Immortal does more damage to Armored and the. Um, Stalkers, which are these kind of things here. They count as armors. So if um, I get them to. Ooh. Oh no! No, 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 no. That's a base. That's a base. Run away. Run away. Okay. Uh, right then. Now, can all these guys take this one out? They probably can, to be honest. Yeah, they can. Pylons. Okay, yeah, I know. I know. I need pylons. E, there it is. I need to get back in there. Okay, I need. Now, I'm not going to take that out yet, but I think I should need to in the future, um, just because uh, there might be something up there. Still, though, that might not. That's not really the mission, you know? So it, it might be a waste of resource. Now, I don't know how heavily guarded this, this is going to be. Okay, now those two are hallucinated. Oh, what are you doing shooting that? Shoot like that thing. Okay, now there's an air unit there, so let's take this one out. Is this like a base? It kind of is. Okay, this is not going well. Okay, I'm backing out. I'm getting out of here. Oh man, this is not going well. Okay, I've lost most of my army, but... Um, could have been worse, could have been worse. So let's build an immortal just because we want a bit more damage. And then um, there's more stuff. Oh wait, did he just lift one up? Looks like he's getting more funky powers as uh, time goes on. Which actually doesn't surprise me to be honest. If we do that, and then we just fill a whole bunch of cannons. Let's get some shields. They're, they're quite expensive, but... Um, oh, although there's mineral patches over there, though, so when I do get that, then... Um, then it'll be another base. 
Adam Atu. I am here in the shadows. Yeah, these DCs are awesome. <laughs> Yeah, 900. It's getting more more health, so I think it might just get to a point where I cannot kill it. It's just gonna. It's just too powerful for me to kill. So um, I'm getting a decent amount of money in now. Let's build another gateway. Oh yeah, I built this, and then forgot to send it up. Okay, so you go to that, and you go to that as well, because you're less likely to get killed. Build a gateway. There, and then go that. Right. So I'm going to let it get up a bit to the, to the cannons, um, and then I'm going to um, going to send in the army. Oh. Or I'll just teleport up. Yeah, look at that, it's lifting stuff up. Cool as it is, it's very annoying. Oh, and they're attacking down there. Okay, well, the cannons are doing okay. I mean, I lost... I lost a cannon, but at least now with this, I might be able to take out this base. Especially if I'm a bit more intelligent about how I attack, as opposed to just, you know, saying, you know, walk in in this direction. So if I kind of I go up here a little bit. And then you guys let's go straight for the uh, void ray. And there we go. Much better this time. Okay, so Zello of Dark Templar. Let's get another store pen up, Zello. So yeah, so what I'll do is um, when this thing's dead, I shall, uh... well actually what I'll do is I'll probably destroy this base, um, and then, uh, I don't have time, I don't have time. I am the voice of the eclipse. Oh yeah, I've got this one in the thing as well. And then, let's go You require my skill. Cool, so first things first, probe, go down there, and build a pile on there, and then get back to work. Now we've got 21 and 24. And then, actually no, I'll tell you what, you build a pile on there first, and then build another nexus, and we'll get a second base up. Build up some pylons, and then get back up there. Stalker, Dark Templar, let's go for, can't quite afford them all, but if I cancel that, oh, I still can't afford them. Oh, there we go. Now, free the preservers, power up mana structures, research, right. So free the preservers, I'm guessing, is the main research, power up is, is the secondary observers. Objectives, even. Ah, okay, not good idea. I'm gonna back it up a bit. Very wise. We I am the heart of darkness. We are Oh, I'm gonna have to chase this one. I don't think the cannons are gonna be able to take it out. Uh oh. Oh, it will slow it down at least. That'll give the uh, rest of these a chance to get in. Got a lot of health now, though. Twelve hundred health. It's a huge amount of health. Cold is the fire in the heart of ah, and I've got an attacker as well, anyway. What? So let's build a few more of these, I am and then I'm going to ignore what's up there, and I'm going to go down here a little bit. Oh, should, do I want to ignore what's down there? Oh, I, I kind of want to get it. To be honest. Very wise for the reckoning. Okay, there's a lot of stuff up there. Oh man, okay. I need to target these down, I think. 
Okay, now you guys link down there and take that out. I think I need, just need more stalkers, to be honest, because the air is doing more than a lot of this other stuff is. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to have to get back a bit, because um, the uh, observer's attacking again. Let's build more probes. I'm just going to build loads. State thy bidding. Build another one of those. I am the heart. Cold is the void. I am here in the shadows. Very well. Cool, so that's been built. So let's build um, a couple of cannons here just in case. I am the voice of the eclipse. Okay, and then we'll come back down here, finish clearing off this base. You require and we should be good to go. Um, and yeah, yeah, it was. It was another base. So that will give me another um, bunch of minerals. Which will be nice. of those now, so that's a pretty decent amount. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go back to here to catch this as it comes out. Oh, I'm not going to make it, am I? Oh, I do. Yeah, because I can't evolve the Tron all the way back. Oh, but I actually just realised something. I haven't checked the structures. Twilight, Robotic, Sun. Yeah, so those are stuff I've got already anyway. Okay, so send a probe down here. Build an Nexus. I know it's not quite cleared out yet, but uh, by the time I uh, get down there, it uh, it will be. So you guys can go and kill the rest of this. Okay, now that's 16 to 15 there. So let's build an assimilator, and then two more. You must construct additional oh, no, I don't need to actually, because there's more coming that way. You require my skill. And when that's dead, I'm going to go and uh, try and go over the bridge. Now, to be honest, the hardest part of StarCraft 2 is actually keeping track on building up your base, whilst also building an army and moving out onto the map. Ah, I thought I might get him before he, um, he uh, did his storm thing. Wait, wait, you can see that lightning crackling? Um, that does huge damage. You require... Let's spread these out, and then when he comes up, get him. The void. Thy I am so another immortal, I think. A couple more stalkers. I think we've got enough stalkers now, though, actually. So I'm going to go zealots and then deities. I am the voice of the eclipse. Thy and job done. Now, attacking across a thin base, thin bridge I into a base, it's probably not going to be greatest for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some stuff off onto the bridge and then shoot them. Oh, but they're just going to be annoying, aren't they? That's not doing too badly. I'm going to try and save the uh, models if I can because they are... Well, as you saw before, they're expensive units. Wait, can I not afford that or something? Ah, it's right there, okay. Now, I kind of hope I've got enough to take it out. But it's got a lot of... Although, no, it's still only got 1,200. Still there, I think I need more gateways. Because I'm getting a lot of resource now. Which is nuts. Oh, actually, no. I need some in there as well. Cool. You know what, guys? I think we got this. I don't think I'll need that extra base. Still, though, for the um, sake of um, completeness. Okay, there's a void right there. So there's a blink up there. Okay, 
But I told you about. I don't think we've used Blink. Oh yeah, yeah, we used Blink in the other um, playthrough, didn't we? Okay. Now, because I'm killing it faster, it seems to be upgrading faster as well. So, um... So, yeah, so I do need to be a bit careful. That, um... That I don't upgrade it too fast, if that makes sense. Actually, let's target this, because this is what's making the A in its... It's the, uh, Stargate. Oh, and another one just popped out. You know, I, uh, yeah, I think we got this. A bit rocky at the beginning there, as we were getting attacked. Um, I didn't know if we would be on a pretty hard time limit or not. But, um, but yeah, I think we have actually done alright, to be honest. Oh, this one there as well. Oh, alright. Okay. I just realised I haven't powered that up yet. That's close. I wouldn't have had all my um, research points, and that would have annoyed this me. <laughs> lies abandoned. You have not enough minerals. Yeah, so now I'm making units a lot at a time, and because I rallied them all to the front, um, additional pylons. then uh, I don't have to worry about them like stacking up at my base. Oh, ha! <laughs> He's stuck. Oh, that's that's bad. You I am the heart of the yeah, there we go. So yeah, so you can. Our is at hand. So you can either. Ready yourself, noble uh, warrior. We confront a terrible evil this day. Okay, so yeah, basically I can uh, feedback, I can use Psionic Storm, which uh, I need more energy for, or I can the merge into Icon. The preservers are entombed within. So yeah, so, break them open so you tell you what, why don't we do that? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, it looks like Dark Templar can actually do that too, to be honest. Anyway, I'll wait for it to finish, because I kind of want to see what Archons are. We've actually seen them already, but um, they are pretty amazing. Look at that. There he is. So he's got like some kind of lightning beam attack. A psionic shockwave. That is really cool. There we go. Job done. I hope. Yeah, we got them all. Brilliant. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe. <laughs> the cycle shall draw to its end. The Zelnago who forged the stars will transcend their creation. Yet the fallen one shall remain. Destined to cover the void in shadow. Fallen one. It begins with the great hunger. It ends in utter darkness. A great hungerer. Could it refer to the Zerg Overmind? It has a part to play in this prophecy. I must seek out the Overmind's final resting place. Our ancient homeworld of Iron. Hmm. I was going to say, the, the Zerg Overmind, I thought we killed that in StarCraft 1, but I don't know, I guess not. Oh yeah, so complete a Sinister Turn mission on hard in less than 25 minutes. <gasps> oh! Oh, we were so close! 26 minutes, 47 seconds. Oh, if I hadn't messed around at the beginning with that extra base. Because, yeah, we didn't need to go into that base. We didn't actually need the extra resource. Oh, that's a bit frustrating. Oh, well, I'm not doing this for the achievements. Maybe I'll do an achievement run later on, but um, but it will take a long time to actually go through and get all these. So, um, so yeah, for now, um, we'll just leave it there. And um, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for stopping by.